Welcome back. Small business owners across the country say they face an awful choice because obeying the law often means destroying their businesses. Alex Hogan joins us from New York, where bar owners are pushing back against some of these COVID lockdowns. Hi, Alex. Hi, Leland. All of these restrictions really taking a toll on some small businesses and a Yelp economic impact report finding that in the first six months of the pandemic, about 800 businesses closed every day. In Michigan, indoor dining is banned while the state is on pause, but some restaurants there are pushing back, still opening despite these guidelines to try to stay afloat. In Staten Island, New York, the back and forth continues over a pub that declared itself an autonomous zone to skirt COVID regulations. Max Public House reopened last night against the state's orders. Police even arrested one of the co-owners this week. In New Jersey, indoor gatherings are limited to 10 people. Photos sparking outrage, capturing dozens of members of the New York Young Republicans Club at the Maritime Park restaurant without masks. Among them, Matt Gates, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy, blasting the Florida congressman for breaking the state's regulations. What a fool. Uh, he and they should be ashamed of themselves. He is not welcome. I hope you're watching, Matt. You are not welcome in New Jersey, and frankly, I don't ever want you back in this state. To send a lifeline to the country's small business owners, two competing proposals. We count, uh, this week, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer backing a $908 billion stimulus plan. And this week, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell supporting a roughly $50 billion plan. This past week in November, we saw that the new jobs report added about 245,000 jobs, but that is the fewest since April after we've seen these months and months of people struggling to get by. And while a vaccine could be around the corner, it's still a bleak outlook for some of these businesses trying to stay afloat until then. Leland. All right, check out Matt Gates's Twitter for his response to the governor of New Jersey, Alex Hogan uh, in New York. Alex, thank you.